Class Seven, Grammar, Chapter One, Articles, Page Number Three. Let's learn. Let us look the first point given there. A, not an an, is used before words beginning with e or u, but having an initial sound of u. Let us look the example. Belgium is a European country. Here. A European country, not an European country. Why? Because European, European. The first sound of that word is U. U is not a vowel sound. European U sound is not a vowel sound. So you cannot use an European. You have to use a European. The same way, the second example. She hopes to be a university professor. A university. It is not an university. Why? University. U. U sound is not a vowel sound. It's a consonant sound. It is not a vowel sound. So you cannot use an there. You have to use a. A European. A university. Second point. Indefinite articles are used with names of professions and occupations. For example, my brother is an engineer. Engineer is the name of a profession. You all know that engineer is the name of a profession. So you have to use an indefinite article before the name of the profession. So that is why we are using like this an engineer, not is engineer. My brother is an engineer. The second example. I hope to be a doctor. Doctor is also the name of a profession. So you have to use a indefinite article before the name of the profession doctor so that is why you are using a doctor i hope to be a doctor not i hope to be doctor i hope to be a doctor now let us look the third point nouns such as hero genius tool thief and liar which describe someone by telling is the kind of person he or she is take the indefinite article Let us look the example. It will be clear for you when you look the example. Beware of that fellow. He is a liar. Here, liar is a noun that describes a person. Okay, liar here is a noun which describes someone. So we have to use indefinite article before that noun. What is the noun over here? Noun that describes someone. Liar is a noun here that describes someone. So you have to use an indefinite article before liar. That is a liar. Beware of that fellow. He is a liar. Now the fourth point. The indefinite article always follows the word such when it is applied to things that are countable. Let us check the examples. I have never known such a cold winter. Not a such cold winter. Here, in this particular sentence, we are using the word such. Such a cold winter. Can you see that? The word such is used. So, when you are using the word such, an indefinite article should follow it. Indefinite article should come only after the word such. Indefinite article should not come before such. Here in the sentence, I have never known such a cold winter. Such a cold winter, not a such cold winter. So indefinite article should follow such. It should not come before such. The same thing. Such an accident has never occurred before. Such an accident, not such accident. Understood. So and should come after such. Such an accident. If an adjective is preceded by so, the a or an must be placed between the adjective and the noun. So let us look the example. I have never known so called a winter. From the sentence, can you find out the adjective and noun? I have never known so called a winter. Here, the adjective is cold. C O L D. Cold is the adjective here. And the noun here is winter. Okay, in this sentence, the adjective is cold, and the noun is winter. So it is said that 
when an adjective is preceded by so here the adjective is called and it is preceded by so isn't it so called it is written there so called so the adjective is called and it is preceded by so if such thing happen in a sentence if an adjective is preceded by uh, so then what ha what will happen an indefinite article a or an must be placed between the adjective and the noun here adjective is cold and noun is winter so when an adjective is preceded by so then a or an should be placed between adjective and the noun that means a or an should be placed between cold and winter here a should be placed between cold and winter now the next point the is used before adjectives and participles when these are used as plural nouns let us look the example the rich ought to help the poor the rich the poor these are used as plural nouns that is why rich and poor before rich and poor we are using the the cries of the dying could be heard the cries plural noun so we are using the before cries the next point the is used in adverb phrases such as in the morning in the evening in the afternoon we will not say in morning in evening it's a adverb phrase so we are using in the morning in the evening in the afternoon the last point in that page the is used in adverb phrases and sentences to show that two things increase in the same proportion for example the more the merrier here two things the more the merrier two things increase in the same proportion the sooner the better here also two things increase in the same proportion the more one has the more one wants now page number 4 the first point page number 4 the is used before uncountable nouns to identify them the is used before uncountable nouns to identify them the milk in this jug is for the children the milk here milk is an uncountable noun and the is used before milk to identify them the milk the rice in this bag is not of good quality the rice rice is an uncountable noun and the is used before the uncountable noun rice to identify them now the last point the is used before nouns which name the inhabitants of a country collectively but not before the names of their languages let us look the example the french live in france the french live in france here the french refers to the inhabitants of the country not to the language because the is used before french the french when you are using the before the word french it is not referring to a language it is referring to the inhabitants of a country but if you are not using the before french if you are simply using french then it will refer to a language let us look the second example the inhabitants of france speak french here french is the language not the inhabitants of a country because the is not used before french so if you are using the before french then it will refer to the inhabitants of a country but if you are not using the before french then it will refer to a language